talk about a pineapple. Now, I have been disappointed in the past by several pineapples. Uh, I've only reviewed two on my channel. I had the baby pineapple, which I didn't like, didn't taste that good. And I had the uh, Queen Victoria pineapple, which was supposed to be really good. It was really expensive. Also didn't really like it. Jamaica, I hear, has some of the best pineapples in the world. The two main varieties that you can find are uh, the Cowboy and the Sugarloaf. Sugarloaf is this big one. It's called that because it kind of looks like uh, a sugar loaf. It's just kind of like a loaf of bread. Uh, the Cowboy is kind of like a medium size pineapple, a little bit smaller than the typical ones we get in America. Hopefully this will redeem all the bad pineapple experiences I've had in the past. I know it's a lot of pressure pineapple, but you can do it. Okay, so first let's lop off the head. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to cut this properly. Yeah, the woman assured me that this was ripe, and I asked her several times, give me a ripe one, give me a ripe one, and I don't know, this looks a little white. So I hope that's just how these are supposed to be, and that she didn't rip me off because uh, that would be really annoying. And um, I'm going to attempt to cut these eyes out without cutting my finger off. To kind of just do like this. This is how they do it in the market. They make a little spiral. Actually, it wasn't that bad. Uh, you do lose quite a lot of fruit when you do that, but it does present a little bit better when you do it. A little bit easier to eat this way. I'm not sure if this is entirely ripe or not, but as it is, it's good. It tastes very fresh. The other little pineapples I had in the past, they tasted kind of stale and a little overripe, but this I could tell was picked fairly recently. Uh, just because this has no additional like bonus flavors of like fermentation or staleness. The most typical kind of pineapple flavor is uh, pretty tart. Let's say it's maybe like six out of ten on the sourness scale. You know, more tart than an orange. Uh, this is maybe one or two more. This is like an 8 out of 10 for the sourness scale. It would be for somebody who wants like a little bit more tartness. That just might be like the ripeness level of this, but it is quite tart. The sweetness is good, but it's a little bit low. I would say it's like less than an apple. Let's say an apple is a 5 out of 10 on the sugar scale. This is slightly less. This is maybe like a four. Maybe if you took like your standard pineapple and you put, kind of put like some lemon juice on it. That's kind of what this is like. Nothing too crazy, but it is quite good. So um, yeah, I'd say if you do come to Jamaica, try some of the pineapples. There are, these are this and the sugar loaf are the two main varieties, but there's also a few others out there as well. So if you look around, you might be able to find some more. So um, I'm going to look around and see if I can find a sugar loaf. And if I do, that's going to go in this video right now. And if you're seeing this part, it means I did not find a sugar loaf, and I'm sorry. But this is still quite good. I found a vendor selling this, and I asked her, um, oh, what is this one? And she said, I don't know. I said, well, it looks like it's a cowboy. Is it a cowboy? I had that. She's like, no, no, it's something else. The leaves are different. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I bought it. And then I went a little bit further, and I saw a, uh, a guy selling this, and I asked him what this was, and he gave me some other name. I don't remember what it was. When I saw the guy selling this, I actually asked him if he knew what this was. He's like, cowboy. So, <laughs> it's two different opinions. One person said this is a cowboy, the other person said it isn't. Notable thing with this one is the uh, the outside has like this little red uh, color in between each of the segments. Yeah, by the end of this, I'll at least be good at doing this. <laughs> 
Tastes about the same. Okay, I'm noticing a different taste. It took me eating the entire thing, but I have picked up another flavor in there that I didn't taste before, which makes me think maybe this is different. It tastes a little bit like pink sweet tarts. Everything else reminds me of the cowboy. I think like if that is different, it might be a uh, very close relative to the cowboy. And right now my tongue is like burning from all of the, um, what is that acid called? Bro bromeli, I, uh, the pineapple acid. No, it's not oxalic acid, it's the other one. That's burning my tongue right now. So I'm not going to eat this one and compare it. I think that would be uh, way too much. But I'm gonna see if I can do that tomorrow. Um, but for now guys, I'm gonna get a glass of water. It is uh, another day and I have to head back to Kingston right now and then I'm heading back home. So towards the end of the trip and uh, I still have this. <laughs> and I can't tell you like how much I do not wanna eat this right now. I still feel like two pineapples in my body from like yesterday and the day before. I feel like I've been eating like nothing but pineapples. But um gonna do it <laughs> because I don't want to carry this with me. So let's do it. So let's see if this is any different or if I just bought three of the same pineapple. It does taste different. It just doesn't taste very good. <laughs> I mean, it's better than a supermarket pineapple that you get in the US. It's just not as good as the last two that I had. I'd say on the sourness scale, this is maybe like an eight. It's not super sweet. It's maybe as sweet as the last two, maybe a little bit less. But this one has the addition of like a little bit of like a coconut kind of flavor in it. I think my favorite of the three was the second one, and then probably this one, and then the first one. Uh, the first one was just like a little too harsh. It might have been underripe, maybe. And the second one had probably the most flavor, that like slight berry flavor in there was pretty nice. This one is fine. Um, this is a little mild in flavor and high in sourness. So um, I would love to find a pineapple that's just like super sweet. That's kind of like what you, what you want in a pineapple. And I haven't found it. Um, the one main one they have here is called Sugarloaf, as I mentioned. And that one's supposed to be really, really good. But uh, I don't think it's in season. This is good. It's definitely good. It's better than the ones we have in the US, but it hasn't like knocked my socks off or anything. So um, my search for the perfect pineapple continues. All right, see you next time, bye. Before you click out, I wanna give a very special thank you to Gary Benninger for being a very generous contributor over on Patreon.com. Without the support that I get on Patreon, this channel would not exist. It is how I manage to fund these trips. So thank you so much, Gary, and to everyone else who is a contributor on Patreon as well.